I'm thinking of a book. I can't remember anything about it except for the barest part of the plot. There's a group of kids and they're in a town that has some sort of lurking evil. Sarah's um, and is this the first time the both of you have seen or even talked to each other outside yeah. of the outside of the email yeah awesome all right so the entire communication was done via email this is the first time we're all kind of meeting and and saying hi and uh, we'll just go around so Sarah po Potter we'll start with you all right I am Sarah Potter uh, I am a local I was born in Morgantown raised in Morgantown lived here my whole life uh, I am a student at WVU, non-traditional. I'm coming back after nine years away. Um, outside of school, I am a licensed massage therapist and I work at Tuscan Sun Spa over in Star City. Yes, okay. I always pass that all the time and I'm like, I wonder if I should go there one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit me up. That's where, I, well, when we open back up, that's where right. I work. <laughs> right, right. Awesome. Well, Sarah Sharp, what about you? Yeah, um, I work as an assistant cataloger at the Morgantown Public Library, and I also handle a lot of the uh, Gmail, the Ask My MPLS Gmail account. Yeah. So, uh, and finally, I'm Karina Chang, manager of marketing at the Morgantown Public Library System, and I just want to thank everybody for joining me again. This is really awesome. And the purpose of this gathering is essentially to capture a moment in time when one librarian helped out another person um, at the library. We just want to capture this interesting story. I think it's interesting and um, hopefully other people will as well. Yeah, so starting from the beginning, Sarah Potter, what were you looking for? So in the beginning, I was looking for a book. Um, I had read this book back in middle school, uh, like sixth, seventh grade, uh, when I was attending South, one of the, one of the locals. And uh, it was one that I checked out at least once a month. I really loved it, but the high school didn't have a copy. And as I got older, I, I still remembered it, but I, after a certain point, I didn't remember the title. I didn't remember any of the characters. I didn't remember the author. Uh, all I could remember was some of the basic plot. And I, for some reason, I thought it was a different title. And every time I tried to Google it, I just couldn't find anything. And I was on Facebook and I saw an advertisement for the Morgantown Public Library. And I was like, sparks going off in my brain. I'm like, I'm going to ask a librarian because surely somebody knows. And uh, so I sent an email to the Ask M MPLS, Morgantown Public Library System, and uh, Sarah answered. And I was like, look, I'm sure you hear this all, all the time. I'm thinking of a book and I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> um, she sent me an email back. She's like, somebody came up with this and it was a Wikipedia link to the book. And I was like, that's it. Oh that my was, gosh. Oh my gosh. It's been years. It's been years since I've thought of it. And I ordered a copy on Amazon. I have it here. Oh, I, nice. I've only just started it. I'm only, you know, a little ways in, but is it exactly, everything, is it everything you had remembered it to be? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, it was like blast from the past. So welcome. Um, with everything that's been so uncertain lately in the world, I was really, uh, I didn't realize it, but I was really comforted by a familiar thing. And having, having this, this book from my childhood was, it was just a huge comfort. I was so happy to have it. Can you and I was right? not able to do it without this. Awesome. Can, can you tell me just like in two sentences, when you initially reached out to Sarah, what you're like, I don't know, you provided like a really kind of vague description. You're like, it's set in this area and it, you know, it, can you, yeah. can you explain what, what, what you wrote her initially? It was a really so, vague description of the book. So what I had sent was, uh, I'm thinking of a book. I can't remember 
anything about it except for the barest part of the plot. There's a group of kids and they're in a town that has some sort of lurking evil and uh, the principal's involved and maybe one of the teachers and the principal has like like spectral dogs that chase them and <laughs> they're they're working on a project and they find out that these pro that the props for the project have been imbued with this uh, supernatural power and they use it to defeat the evil in the town and I distinctly remember at the end of the book they they do what they're supposed to do and then the objects return to what they're made out of of cardboard and foil and it just wow. struck me and uh, I remember I liked it because uh, the characters were changed afterwards rather than like everything returning to normal and everything's happy the characters were affected by by the experience that they had shared together right. um the good character really arc yes yes the character arc thank you yeah awesome so sarah sharf can you tell me a little bit more about how you came to how, find the this answer where what this book was can you tell me kind of the thought process and what you did to eventually get the answer that you were looking for? Sure, yeah, I tried a, a couple different approaches first. I, I looked at this tool that we have um, through our library website called Novelist Plus. And um, in that, it's really cool. You can type in keywords and subjects and just try to narrow down, get some idea of some possibilities for the book. Um, I didn't have a lot of luck with that one, but um, <laughs> I also checked on WorldCat. It's the world's largest online library catalog. So <laughs> you'd think they would have, you'd think they'd have that book there, but it's just such a big ocean of possibilities. Right. Because um, I didn't have an author or a year. Um, yeah. But ultimately <laughs> what worked was that library Facebook group. It's called Library Think Tank. Mm -hmm. And uh, I posted Sarah's description on there. Um, a lot of the keywords that really resonated with her. And somebody came back with that suggestion just a couple hours later. <laughs> wow. And wasn't her name, ironically, Sarah as well? Yeah, the, the oh. woman who posted that the no title way. of the book. Oh my gosh. Triple Sarah's. Oh Triple my gosh. Sarah's. The brain is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's awesome. So, and, and I think the turnaround time was just how, like Sarah, how Sarah Sharf, are you, was it like five hours or it wasn't, it was pretty quick between getting, and you know, getting, getting Sarah Potter's request and then finding the Yeah. Answer. Yeah, the, we had a couple of back and forth emails um, that morning, and I think I emailed her with that book suggestion by two, maybe the afternoon, and then she wrote back that oh, night. Yeah. <laughs> she said, oh my God, you found it, and it was yeah. just such a cool, <laughs> it made me so happy that we could find that for her. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of hear the story, um, you know, just to close. Sarah Sharp, is there anything you want to say that we might have missed in this story that you might, you know, any, any last words? Sure. Um, I would just want to say that as librarians and library people, we might not always know the answer, but it's just nice to know that we know how to find the answer, where to go to find the answer for you. Right, right. Yeah. And Sarah Potter, any last words, anything you want to you might have any words for the library for anybody watching this video eventually? I have always been a fan of the library. Um, I have many good memories of uh, summers spent, you know, just sitting in the library reading, you know, it's, it's cool. You can, all the, all the natural light from the windows in the front. And uh, I remember you know, going with my mom all the time. She's like, you can only get five. You can only get five. You can only get five. <laughs> but what if I need a backup to my backup to my backup? Right. But uh, it was so fortuitous to have that, that notification on Facebook and then make that connection. I was like, wait, you know, why not ask 
the experts. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was really great and such a great experience. I've, I've mentioned it, you know, talked my boyfriend's ear off about it, told my mom, uh, she, who's been a long time patron, um, and uh, a couple of my, my sister, a couple of my other friends, you know, like, I can't believe this happened. And all it took was asking a librarian. Right, right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much to the both of you. Uh, I appreciate both of your time, Sarah Potter. Thank you for reaching out to the library. Absolutely. Sarah, thank you for your hard work and working towards our mission and, and serving our community. Um, to the both of you, please take care, be safe. And Sarah Potter, if you ever need anything else, feel free to reach out to us again. I absolutely will. I absolutely will. You ladies have a great day, all right? All right, great. thank you. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye. That's it. Oh that my gosh. It. Oh my gosh. It's been years. It's been years since I've thought of it. <laughs>